Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel Physics Radiate. Today we will learn that uh, how we can calculate the micro strain in proscite uh, sample. So uh, there are many approaches for that and there are many factors involving in the micro strain of the proscite material. Uh, however, we will uh, just uh, uh, have a look and uh, we will have few concepts. So let me do uh, a little math for it. So as we can see that for example if we have XRD value of any sample in this case for the first kite. So we have uh, the uh, peaks and we have the broadening of the peaks. And for example, if we have brooding in the uh, XRD peaks, so uh, there must be some strain that may be caused because of the uh, many factors. But uh, in this case, for example, for the simplest uh, approach, so we may have uh, some imperfection in the crystal of the perovskite. So we may have some imperfection in the crystal structure as we can see over here we have a little bit uh, for example in this uh, portion we have some defects uh, so there is some in imperfection and we have some uh, missing of the elements over here and uh, there may be some distortion like for example uh, as you can see over here there may be some inside stress or compressive stress there may be some expansion or mismatching of the uh, crystal rails in this case so uh, we should consider these uh, brooding and there must be some strain and that may be caused because of the imperfection or because of the distortion so uh, over here uh, we have this formula so we will calculate using this formula and that is uh, represented by epsilon that is actually the strain or the micro strain in this case and here as we have seen that beta is actually the uh, full uh, full width at half maxima as we have seen in the previous videos uh, that is actually uh, in the radians okay so we will have this in the region in here the theta or the angle is actually uh, the brakes angle we can say this is the brakes angle or uh, we can calculate this from the xrd value so let's do it and how we can uh, calculate uh, these uh, uh, values uh, and we should also remember that for example if we have uh, let's say we have 2 theta in our uh, XRD value so for example the 2 theta value increases uh, let's say this is increases so uh, we will have less strain this will actually decrease so this will follow in this way and uh, it is better for example if we have many peaks in the sample so it is better to calculate for all sample so uh, let's try it so for that we should have the XRD uh, value of the sample over here I have this was actually uh, calculated for the uh, perovskite sample so this is 2 theta value in degrees and this is the intensity and let's say we graph it like this make it a little bit uh, better so we can calculate it very easily uh, as we can see we have many peaks so uh, we it is better to calculate for each peaks but for the sake of example I will just take few few of them uh, 
let me do first a little bit better so I will to this maybe from the board let's say 410 and this is for example let's say 14 and you have okay make it a little bit bold and let's say 3 is okay now we will go for analysis and peak and dash lines multiple peaks open the dialog and here we should be um, focus on the gas function okay it says okay double click on the peaks so that we can take the beta value and uh, the crystalline size okay let me do it first then okay open the fit okay now we should click fit until converged so from this we will have uh, the full width at half maxima values and the two theta values and it can be taken from here let's see okay done it okay okay here we can see if we scroll down you will see here uh, actually the theta values over here two theta value or the position of the peaks just control C and for the calculation we will have the, uh, the Excel file this is actually the two theta portion so here we will paste it over here then uh, we will have the FWHM in this case that is actually the beta and as we have seen in the previous videos so just take it from this okay over here as you can see control C and put it over here now we will take uh, the uh, full width at half maxima values uh, which can be found uh, over here and just copy it and paste over here in beta now we just need to calculate the values as we have seen in the previous uh, videos that uh, this is actually a Schroeder formula uh, the shared equation for the crystalline size and over here as we can see we should have the uh, crystallized size and uh, here we have uh, for tangent theta so uh, it is better to know the crystallized size as well as uh, the, the strength uh, over here so uh, for that we need to have the values in the radians over here we should take uh, theta and here we have two theta value so we just need uh, to convert this okay by 2 and just apply it and apply for all okay now we have to convert this value in radians so equal radian double click and this value close the value enter it so this will be in radians okay apply it now we have uh, fwhm or the beta value but that is in degree and we should also convert this in radians so let me do it first okay enter it now apply this for all over here now we need to calculate the uh, 
crystallite size and that can be done by this formula k is the shear constant and we can see over here this is 0 0.9 generally so let me do it equal, sorry, equal in uh, k is 0 0.9 multiplied by uh, lambda which is the wavelength or the source wavelength uh, from the x-ray machine uh, that is in nanometer 0 0.15406 this is multiply now these are divided by this value beta is actually here and this is actually beta okay sorry okay over here and we should close it now beta is actually multiplied by the cos of beta and we should have cos double click and cos of theta is over here in the radian that would be cos of theta a okay close it enter this is the actually the crystallite size and apply for all values we should have this uh, crystallite size for the uh, uh, perovskite sample now we need to calculate the micro strain value and we have the formula just apply the formula beta is actually this value in radians okay and divide this by 4 tangent tangent of oh, sorry this should be multiplied okay multiplied by tangent of theta and this is actually okay theta or here radian and close it okay enter apply this for all as we can see we have a very small strain in a specific sample of the perovskite and uh, this means we have uh, approaching the perfection of the uh, crystal structure and we have a very less distortion in radiance so this was all about the uh, uh, micro strain of the perovskite sample which can be done by many approaches but this one is actually from the uh, xrd values uh, thank you so much for watching and if you have any question let me know in the comments box uh, See you later.